yo what is good guys so good in here back with another video in today's video i'll be about reviewing a gameplay from my sessions ninja otter i do do coaching on metify so if you guys want to check me out in there but i kind of want to pay some more educational content i want to start about reviewing subscribers i want to start watching like top players from other regions or another top lanes for other regions and doing more about review type videos so yeah i'm going to try to do more educational content i feel like there's definitely a place for more educational content on the platform so yeah, I'll be reviewing Ninja Otter, he'll be playing Lucario, going to the top path, running full heal. Not sure of the build, but probably muscle weakness. I'll probably display on the screen what build he's running. Have to check he's not API, but so let's see. Let's evaluate first evaluate with the matchups we have. We have a Dull Fox, we have a Blast Lich, we have a Wiggly Tough, a Buzzle, and the Mew. And like what I like to do always is potentially, you know, evaluate all the CC I could be potentially going into. You have Dell Fox if they run fire spin. They have X speed, so they don't have the extra flash, so they can't effectively dodge your e speed all the time which is really good for us we have rapids um i don't know not a rapids and blastos but we had a potion blastos we don't know what he's running but if you run in surf hydro pump wiggly is annoying with charm so you have to work around that mew has surf and light screen and buzzle has potentially superpower lh life so yeah we'll see what happens here you know not a lot of flashes which is nice to see like i don't have to worry about my e speed being dodged by flash which can be annoying sometimes but they have a lot of um, ADC damage there. So if he can play frontline and like really zone for teammates and the Venus plays frontline and the Lax is doing things like the Dora and the Cedra can really be enabled. So this is already tough that first off, why are there multiple people with one in lane? That sucks, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I have to ping them bro, I don't blame you. So yeah, we're going to the bottom path. I'm gonna go ahead and quick attack. This sucks. This clear the Venus did, but it is what it is, right? Going to go stack. So you have a really buzz on lane. You just handshake, just totally fine. Go ahead and handshake. Something I like, oh, I would like to do, like, this is like something very simple and very, like, um, really good though to think about. Let me open up my epic pin. This is something like very simple, but I think it's very efficient. So let me go back a little bit. Instead of going straight to score, he should know that he's going to be uncontested for a little bit. You can quick attack this, right? And then go score. So you're quick, so you're doing the most damage possible. So you could literally just quick attack it. This is just something to think about. You quick attack this, you go to score, it comes to you, you meter master, you get it, right? It's just kind of being a little bit more efficient. Not that it really matters, but it's efficient at least. No, nothing major, nothing major though. So yeah, go on the score, doing your little regular things, handshaking. That's fine. Like do them doing this is so grief. Giving free stacks to like a free laner is really bad, guys. Like he gets full XP from all this farm and he gets stacks for free. Bro, that guy's almost dead. Oh, whoa, the Venus are kills. What the? God, I'm not mad at this. If you can get the focus band proc, okay, they have potion. So that's fine, that's fine. If they're a little bit lower, it might have been more worth. I'm honestly probably went for farm. There's a charm. Um, he almost tried to do the thing I taught him. You don't always want to secure a meteor mash quick attack here. You can always quick attack to secure farm. He just wasn't able to get it. It's not probably worth full healing it, but if he was a little bit faster, he gets that farm. So oh snap. Okay, I went so too far ahead. He gets the farm. So there this might be a little bit greedy to go for this farm like it's just kind of tough to score in two people you took a lot of damage um if venusaur is getting b value that's a little bit better right but like he's not going to clear the b's in time i do i do think you wait on the stack here i'm not gonna lie that's probably something i would have done too i'm not even gonna cap with you sometimes i'd be griefing it just, it just isn't worth right now so it puts him a little bit you can get a good amount of damage there nice you get the farm and you get the kill nice you have your e speed okay i need to stop skipping ahead Let's see what you do. You go to jungle invade. All right. So you have you have decent HP to do so. Full heal that. All right. Good secure. You're dead. All right. There is a potential chance that if you kill the Delphox here, if you just e speed the Delphox and meteor mash here, or do the tech that I was like talking to you about, you definitely just kill the Delphox. That Wiggly can't like damage you. You already used full heal, so like you have a little bit of time to wait. The e speed cooldown like obviously sucks, but like you have a little bit of time to wait and. and it puts the Del Fox behind. Like taking this buff really didn't matter because you died anyway. So, oh Venus are almost with the kill. So I think I think it would definitely been worth to like kill the Del Fox there in that situation. So let's see. We're going back down the bottom lane. Just him there. He can't do nothing. Honestly, I would handshake this. Like you're not gonna stop a buzzwall, and he's probably just going for berries anyway. It's like, yeah, kind of simple stuff. I definitely think I would have um just went to handshake. There's so much farm in their side. Yeah, just keep practicing attack, bro. Just keep practicing attack. You'll get it down for sure. Because it's really it's really useful. I think that's what makes the car like solid right now. Like you have to know how to do the um 
needs to be canceled. So, got some farm. So, nothing too crazy right now. The invade could have been better, but it's nothing crazy. Like, sometimes you don't always want to invade because your HP is low. And then, like, they were kind of watching the invade anyways. So, like, you don't always got to go for it. So, yeah. Oh, um, you get stats. So you're playing bot lane every single solo queue, bro. I don't understand. I'm gonna rant about this a little bit. I don't understand who made a video telling you guys to go bot lane. Like, who made a solo queue video? I need to guys let me know in the comments for real. I want to know who made this video, bro. Cause it doesn't make sense why every single solo queue will a ram top lane all game. Like I've gone through this so much time and so many times in solo queue. It's crazy. All right, so you gotta be real careful. He has boosted all. You take a lot of damage. Definitely think you could like done better in getting that farm, but just took a lot of damage from the Mew. Cause you like it was like kind of unnecessary to show yourself. So if I go down here, boom, you take the damage or whatever, right? Yeah, okay, never mind. But yeah, it just you just took a lot of damage with the Mew. Like, I definitely just wanted to just go for the farm because you're not you're not gonna you're not really gonna kill a Mew. Maybe you do. Oh, the surf. So it's just a one v one with Mew right now. I think you go top here to be honest. Like when I'm thinking about it. Midi beats, I'm pretty sure are up. Um, they just have, they just must have spawned. Like, I just think fighting on me, like, let's see how many points he has first. Like, is it, you might be able to leave bottom lane, to be honest. Like, you're not really ripping, and the Mew honestly has better secure. It's a weird, weird situation, but you're not really getting anything done, to be honest. Like, you're either gonna go flip the Reggie, re, re, whatever, Reggie's bottom, or you're just gonna go mid. There's B's mid, there's like a fight up top. Like, he's gonna get 23 points, but I mean, you just aren't doing anything useful. You might be able to kill him here. Yeah, you kill him. Nice. That's the patience as well. Good stuff, bro. That's the patience as well with the auto attack. You, you just really ensure your, your e-speed. Like, this is something I do all the time, guys. I e-speed. But, like, I could e-speed again here. But I need to make sure he doesn't have a cooldown, right? He could have agility delay. I'm pretty sure it was agility surf, so. Good patience. Um, You're just getting farm, which is fine. You're getting something. Okay, the wiggly's down here, and you probably should secure this all, right? Yeah. Nice. Good, good secure. Good secure. So, yeah, good secure. So, you guys see, like, that was really good to kill the Mew. At least the Mew messed up. You take advantage of the mistake. Like, it's just a weird scenario because, like, you you have a low chance of getting the, the, uh, the Reggie Ice bottom unless you have your ultimate, right? So. Just doing a lot of damage with the auto attacks. He's dead. Nice. See, that's the, again, the patience I'm talking about. You don't, like, chat, you don't, I mean, not chat, but um youtube you don't always have to like e-speed all the time like and waste your e-speed you can be patient you can trade auto attacks like you don't always have to go through the thing so i'm glad you're like you're actually incorporating things i like taught you which is really nice bro so the blast ice is there able to e-speed freely on him nice kill there mew oh he walked up to you he's dead nice good kill man yeah i don't know what why do you walk up to you free kills let's go yeah i think you're playing really well you played the bot lane you control the bot lane like you want bot lane that's gonna be very valuable for the rest of the game you're gonna have a lot of xp like you're level 11 you probably don't have to foil that i feel like foiling that is actually not worth yeah he's definitely water he's water he's rapid spin so you don't have to do a surf from him i don't think it's worth to actually um foil that it's just uh whatever it's called see there you tried to attempt the tech because you definitely kill the delphox you get the tech off the bone rush auto kill um bottle bonus esp cancel and also i made a video on that guys you guys want to check that out and learn how to do the um the esp cancel the japanese tech i think people knew about it already but then people want they watch japanese like the japanese finals good kill i probably am saying it wrong i don't i actually i never knew what that was actually specifically called the can't the tech but i just call it the tech the lucario tech so if you guys want to learn how to do that you can check that video out I can see you're trying to do it. Nice with patience there. Oh, he ults. Dang, almost killed him. Just not enough damage. You're running Razor Claw. I think you're running Razor Muscle then, because I can tell. I think I can tell. Okay, yeah. So, you, yeah, you also heal off the bees as well. Good, good. You don't have to back here. Anytime there's bees up, guys, just always heal off of them, bro. Always heal off of them. It's just so worth it. You just save yourself from backing. So top, they won top engage was just free. I assume you didn't have to do anything. So nice. What the heck? Why that lucky? Wait, I gotta go back. Why the lucky like turn? Like, what is the lucky doing? Wait, what is that look like right here? Okay, watch this. Is this because the wall? It might be all oh, the light screen wall. Okay, I didn't see that. Okay, okay. I was gonna say like the lucky like walked around weird.
Nice, good kill. And they surrender. So I think you played it really well. I didn't have like too much of a critique by some of the early game. Um so I think this will be it for the video from you guys. Let's check the damage, I guess. Check the loading screen stat. I think you played really well. I do think like you could have probably been around the map a little bit more, but I mean like you won you won the bottom engage. Winning that bottom engage early game was really good because you got like stock, you got pretty fed, so yeah. Um, this will be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned something about the from the video and more about Lucario. I'm gonna try to like start doing more educational content like this. It could be for any top laner, anything, like any advice. If you guys any have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments below. But yeah, that's it for me. I'm the Coden and I'm out. Peace.